Over the years, Michael Keaton has lived in some stunning homes. In fact, his first big real estate purchase was a mansion in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, and he still owns it. After this, he would acquire more real estate, including a place near Santa Barbara, a ranch in Montana, and another property elsewhere in California. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home that we moved into earlier this year, so go and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Michael Keaton has enjoyed a long and successful career as an actor that spanned a number of iconic roles all the way from the late 70s to today. His first gig involved odd jobs as a minor performer on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, while also serving as a production assistant for local Pittsburgh TV series and performing stand-up on stage. But Michael knew that if if he was really gonna make it, he needed to head to LA. Upon arriving in the City of Angels, Michael picked up work on programs like Maude and the Mary Tyler Moore Hour. He then won a series of increasingly prolific film roles in the 80s, leading up to his breakthrough years when he played the title characters in Beetlejuice and Batman back to back. Many were hesitant to believe that Michael could pull off the role of the caped crusader, but when Batman was released, it grossed over $400 million on a budget of only $35 million. Suddenly, Michael Keaton was one of the biggest stars in the world, and he became determined to live that way as well. In 1987, while shooting his role as Beetlejuice, Michael used some of his considerable paycheck to secure his first home, a mansion in LA's Pacific Palisades that he still uses to this day. While he he has also owned a couple of other California homes. The Montana ranch he bought seems to suit him best. These days, Michael's 1,000 acre ranch here has become his primary place of residence. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the homes of Michael Keaton. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. I'm gonna start by filling you in on what we know about Michael's two mansions located in California. The very first home he ever bought is a sprawling property located on a double-gated parcel of land perched on the very top of a bluff that overlooks the extremely popular Riviera Country Club in the Pacific Palisades. Michael has owned this property since 1987 when he dropped $1.3 million on it. Of course, with a listing that old, there aren't many more details widely available, but we know that Michael still spends time here whenever he's working in Los Angeles or looking to get away from Montana in the winter. And back during the pandemic, Michael used this home to isolate so that he could be closer to his son, Sean Douglas, who also happens to live nearby. Michael's second home in LA was an unassuming, if not charming, 2,292 square foot cottage located on about 1.7 acres of ocean view land in the city of Montecito in Santa Barbara County, California. This is a property that he bought in 1989 for $1.5 million. Again, with him having bought this place so long ago now, details are slim. What I was able to find out is that Michael first came to Santa Barbara sometime in the late 70s after he and a few friends drove his 63 Volkswagen Bug there to sleep on the beach. The first thing that really struck him about the area was how many horses he saw walking along through the streets. Being a huge horse enthusiast, this really intrigued him. He promised himself then and there that if he could ever afford a second home, he would buy one in Santa Barbara. So that's exactly what he did. Since then, Michael has reportedly sold this original home sometime in 2011 for a reported sum of $3.1 million. But there isn't a listing to confirm this. So either it didn't actually happen or it was an off-market deal that never got fully reported. Either way, if he did sell it for that much, he more than doubled his original investment. He also didn't leave the county behind entirely, so we're gonna check out the ranch he bought nearby next. A handful of years after selling his original Santa Barbara property, Michael found himself a new place in the small town of Summerland, a hillside ranchette that he originally planned to use as a weekend getaway and as a place to house his horses during the long 
long and cold winters in Montana. This barely there community located between Montecito and Carpentria is ultra low key, but also ultra expensive. Tax records indicate that Michael secured himself an 18.92 acre spread that's located down a dirt lane that branches off from a private road. In terms of the property itself, it originally boasted a series of rather worthless cottages, half a dozen open air horse stables, and a small fenced in pasture as well as a riding ring. That's alongside acres of open space and some gorgeous long views of the ocean. After spending $5 million to buy this place in 2016, Michael would spend the next two years sprucing it up, including landscaping and the addition of a new fence. He turned the rundown structures into one roughly 2,000 square foot cottage with a two car garage and a patio. He also designed and obtained permits for a second home to be located on the property, but he never got around to building it. Instead, Michael ultimately decided to move off this property and invest more of his money on renovating his Montana property, placing this Summerland ranch on the market for $8.72 million in 2018. Much like with his previous home in the same area, Area, it's unclear if anyone has actually bought the property, but there's a good chance that it's still a part of Michael's real estate portfolio. All right, last but not least, let's head up north to Montana to find out what we know about Michael's primary residence. Located along the snaking West Boulder River between Billings and Bozeman near the itty bitty town of McLeod is where Michael Keaton bought his dream home, a 1,000 acre Montana ranch. When asked by Architectural Digest to explain what drew him to this area, Michael would tell them, I just dig it, I like the smell of it, the idea of it, the problems it poses, it's like putting up the ultimate shack in the woods. Reading between the lines there, it's clear that Michael took an active role in building the place himself. I guess some of the those pre-fame years spent working construction really paid off in the long run. In fact, he spent the first five years here living in a small cabin while his main property was under construction. Now whenever he's not working, you can find Michael right here with his sweeping vistas and wildlife that ranges from rattlesnakes to buffalo. Better yet, fishing here, which is one of Michael's favorite pastimes, is incomparable to anywhere else in the country, and there's enough rough terrain that he can horseback ride for hours. In terms of the main cottage, Michael wanted something that had enough room for his extended family but was also cozy enough that he could live in it alone. Working with interior designers Helen Kent and Julie Iverson, Michael used some of his indigenous American art pieces to fill many of his spaces, including his living room. Meanwhile, the open concept dining room and kitchen share an epic fireplace along with some colonial inspired checkerboard floors. This room is a favorite spot for Michael to gather with friends and as for the kitchen, it was the biggest challenge of all. When working on this space, Michael had to find a way to blend contemporary appliances with old world charm like his antique sink. Elsewhere on the property is the master suite which boasts a log bed along with an antique fly rod case that leans against an old trunk. And that should give you some idea of just how obsessed with fishing Michael really is. Also located not far from here is an old homesteader cabin that Keaton moved from a nearby property before then adding on a porch, kitchen, and bath to turn it into a guest suite. I don't know about you guys, but I'd be more than happy to fill that space if Michael wants to invite me up there to spend the rest of the summer. Well, that's gonna bring our Michael Keaton house tour to a close. Were those properties what you'd expect from the actor? I mean, the Montana Ranch doesn't surprise me too much because I never pictured him as the type of guy in a big, opulent, over-the-top mansion. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!